friends, welcome back to another build challenge in The Sims 4. My name is Sid and we do fun challenges and Sims 4 related things on this channel all the time. A couple days ago I started this new... A couple days ago I started this new series where we're going to be building up this world from the ground up basically. This is Newcrest, an empty world that comes with The Sims 4 base game. But with this challenge, as always, there's a catch. So what we're going to do, we're going to fill out all of these lots, but each lot has to increase in budget. In my last video, we built these three lots, which I'm going to show you in a sec, but we started over here with 700 simoleons, then we went up to 5k, 20k for a starter. So you can see here our neighborhood is coming along quite nicely. I think it looks so cute. We ended off with our starter here, which in my last video you can see me build all three of these lots, but today we're gonna be over here with a budget of 50k. I did also give our sim a little makeover here. I think she looks so cute. I just gave her a skirt. She had shorts on before. I gave her some different hair, so our sim is really making progress, let me tell ya. So let's go ahead and start here with this build. We're going to bring this up on terrain, I think. In this one over here I played with terrain quite a bit so we're gonna do that today and I think this will be the last house that focuses heavily on like gardening. I saw a comment that had a really good idea where like every time we progress we get a new way to make money for our sim that would introduce like new skill rooms and new objects that we can place for her and stuff like that so I do like that idea and we can definitely bring that along with us as we go. So I'm just trying to build something out that's flat for my base here. We're gonna go ahead and build our shell. I want this one to again resemble that one a little bit. We're gonna bring in the same elements that we've been bringing from day one from our first little tent house but we can go a little bit different. We're obviously gonna have to go bigger with this one but a 50k budget is still something that I'm gonna have to watch. I'm by no means able to just build freely in this challenge yet but we have a lot more leniency than we had in the last episode. So what I'm doing here I'm building out this platform. I'm completely ditching the tiny home residential lot trade in this one. In the last episode we were trying to build a few different tiny homes but this time we're just gonna go for it but I do still want to bring in like the overhang for our gardening. I mentioned in the last episode that it helps a lot if you have a roof over your plants because then you can grow seasonal plants all year round. So that's what our platform is gonna act for here. I'm gonna build columns there using my wall tool and I think I'm gonna bring a roof all the way across that. I love how we did the glass roofing on this house over here so I'm gonna bring that element on here as well. We're gonna extend our roof, bring it all the way to the front, and then I'm gonna copy and paste this one and just do like a smaller one over here. But I do think I want it to go all the way across covering my columns. Unless we covered that there, and then for a little bit more dimension, making our build look a little bit more unique, we can go in and uh, like play around with different roofing techniques on our balcony. I feel like in terms of challenges go, this is like a comfortable spot to be. 50k is not that bad. In in terms of having a budget, it's not something that I'm worried about. But as we go up, as our budget increases here, I'm worried about, first of all, how expensive these are even gonna get. And if you guys have seen my most expensive mansion series, you know that the budgets can get out of control in these Sims 4 challenges. So I'm I'm nervous. The next house is already gonna jump up to 100, I think. We're gonna go from 50 to 100 and then maybe keep doubling from there. I'm gonna bring in these roofing adjusters. We're gonna keep our roof snatched just like last time and I'm gonna bring some pieces in and then copy and paste my roofing so it goes a little bit further than that one and we're gonna change that second roofing to some glass. I want to do the same thing right here too. I want to add a glass piece at the front so just bringing that roof piece there, snatching in those adjusters <laughs> and I'm loving the addition of that little glass piece there. It's subtle but I think it still adds like a cool detail. Last time our colors were pretty neutral on the outside but this time I want to bring in the color on the outside. Our interior was very colorful in the last video so let's bring some color in. I'm gonna go with a blue house. I'm gonna put it all over for the base. I think we can maybe keep the same color of roofing as the starter and in terms of my shell here I think I'm pretty happy with it. I might add on just a little extra part over here because I'm thinking the interior still won't be as big as I'm kind of wanting it to be so I'm gonna add just a bump out over on this side. I can put a bunch of windows on there maybe even bring in like a glass roof see how 
that looks. But I think I'm gonna go a little bigger and you can already kind of see with the shell of this one and the house over there that there's similar elements coming in. Now I think we can go on with the details. So I'm gonna raise this up on a foundation. We can use the same foundation that we used on the other house as well. And I think I'm gonna build a small deck just right here for our entry area. So our door is gonna be right there. And then we could even maybe do like a balcony moment up top, but a decorative one. <laughs> like even if I just bring that part together like that with a fence and then in between, we could just put something decorative like some dirt right here. I can get some plants going, like maybe some of these in there from Island Living. I think that looks kind of cool. And what if I also put sunflowers? If we're going in with blue, I think the yellow is gonna complement it really well. So we'll put our flowers right there. Our sim does have a green thumb as we established in the last episode. We can put some windows in the front and how cute is that? So as we progress here, I think it would be fun if we treated this sort of like a let's play in a way that our sim is going to be progressing in her life. There is construction going on outside my apartment. I really hope you guys can't hear it. I swear I live right next to like a construction company or something. I'm constantly hearing it. But anyway, I want this to be like a natural progression of a Sim's life. Like as we go, it's gonna be the same Sim that we're following. So I think it would be cute if we like found her a family and then we built up some bedrooms for like kids and another person incoming with different skill sets so we could build different skill rooms as we go. And also a lot of you guys were on the same page as I was in the comments, which was kind of cool. I think it would be so much fun once this is finished to do like a rags to riches style thing where the goal is to make a sim and start at the tent lot, the one over there worth only 7, 000, uh, 700 simoleons. And then you could work your way up and it's great because if you're not a builder, you don't even have to worry about building the home, but you'll already have goals set for you. So if you move into the $700 lot, you could, your goal could be like to buy the 5,001 and then so on and so on. And you don't have to build anything. You just got to make the money. Also getting from start to finish would actually be kind of tricky because like I'm planning on having these being pretty expensive. Getting from point A to point B in one Sims lifetime would be pretty difficult. So there you guys go. We have a little challenge for you when you're, when this is done. I'm going to build out a chimney back here. And I think this is going to be the last thing that I add to my shell. After this, I'm going to go in with some details. I think what I am going to do is also switch up some of my wallpaper, like for my chimney back here. I'm going to use this from Cottage Living. We can also turn these little pillars into stone as well. And another thing I've been loving doing lately is using this here for my trim or my roofing paint up top. This is from Cats and Dogs. It has like different varieties of shingles and stuff. And I think it just looks really pretty up there. You can see I used it over there for the starter home as well. Oh, look at these babies together. I feel like we need more columns. I can use the same cottage living ones that we used for the other build. And what I also did, I think I did it off camera. I don't know if I showed you guys, but I went in with a corbeler and instead of using spandrels like I normally would, I just connected these to the side and it gives it a different look than just using like the regular season spandrel that has the same look. I'm gonna get my mailbox, my trash can at the front and I think I might have to move this forward just a little bit because I plan on making another garden in the back there. It's also kind of cool building these right next to each other because I think eventually it's going to look like a really cohesive neighborhood the way that we're doing it. I'm using the, the same fence that I used in that lot over there. I'm planning on doing the same sort of thing with the lines with the terrain paint and I also noticed when you zoom out these are really prevalent with like the stone path and everything so at least at least in this section here, I only have one more lot to build. We're definitely gonna keep that going because I feel like it looks really cool from this view. So let's carve that out. We'll just do like some terrain leading to that pathway. And at the front, I'm gonna keep the same cottage living terrain paint that I used as well. We're gonna just like bring this to the front because when we're done with this, I do want it to look like a very in sync neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> I do need to watch my budget. I know that I still have to landscape, but I'm adding just a few more details before we do that and then I will landscape and we can go inside. So this is what our house is looking like fully landscaped. I did the underground or er, <laughs> under the roof gardening area over here where we can plant things freely, some flower pots. I also did the balcony up top already too. I did a super cute dining table with a floral arranging area. Again, more area for planting. And around the back, I did this area here where I've got my 
stone element from the other houses. We've got our gardening area, which is way bigger than last time. We're on our way to having like a full blown farm. Like, I don't know what these other houses are gonna end up looking like, but at this rate, we're gonna have cows, we're gonna have ducks, we're gonna have chickens, the whole thing. <laughs> okay, so let's go inside our 50K house. I did shrink the shell a little bit. I thought I was having too much room with 31,000 simoleons to work with for the interior, but let's see what we can do. Let's bring in our wood. I'm loving this beige color here that I brought through on the deck. The last house we did was kind of like pastel and pretty, and I do want to bring that element in here as well, but I also like the pattern vibe. Maybe we can do that for a bedroom. Down here, we're going to have open concept kitchen and living room, and then I think a bathroom over to the side. I love the green with this beige color, so maybe we can bring in some green siding, but I also love mixing and matching, so maybe we can do some eco lifestyle paneling as well. With a touch of blue, maybe? We're going to go really plant heavy in here again, and I think maybe in the next episode, we can change up the style. Maybe we meet someone, since we seem to be very, like, almost cottage core in a way. Maybe we meet someone with more of, like, a modern taste. And then in the next house with the, I think it's going to be a $100,000 budget next, maybe we can change it up then. I mean, we're getting werewolves in The Sims 4, apparently. I, I heard that was, like, what the new game pack is allegedly about. So who knows? Maybe we meet a, a werewolf in this build series. So I know my kitchen is going to be over to the right. I'm building out a small pantry area over here. I like the look of that like crisscross with the eco lifestyle lines. We'll bring our counters around this way for our kitchen. I don't want to go overboard with the really expensive appliances yet. I think we're going to save that because you can really spend a lot of money on these appliances eventually, but I don't think I want to get there just yet in our Sims life. So what I'm going to do is clutter to the max just like last time. So our kitchen layout will be over there. We could do a small dining table right here. I love the look of the yellow there. So let's bring that in with these chairs from Paranormal. We're going to clutter up this area in here with, I, I was picturing pantry items. So let's get some colorful, cute things going in here. I love cluttering with these tea can things from Snowy Escape. Also the milk jugs and stuff from Cottage Living has some cute color as well. I do love building with Snowy Escape things. So maybe in the coming episodes, our combined style with this one could be like a snowy escape vibe. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What style would you like to see incorporated with this one through the neighborhood? This area is going to get cluttered up with plants. I'm going to be putting this one from Cottage Living. We can do a hanging plant over here. I loved the warm tone one that we used last time. I think for the living room area, I'm going to do my couches facing this way and we can have our TV on like a coffee table right there. So like coffee table, maybe we'll keep it cheap with our TV again. I'm going to do BB, oh god, BB.show hidden object. We'll do our eco lifestyle TV there and then for our couch, I love to combine this one here with Dream Home Decorator and just like make my own couch. We can pull this area together with a rug and then I think I'm going to do a painting area around here somewhere as well. The painting area we made last time was so cute so I definitely want to bring that in again but let me know also another skill that you would like to see in this series. Eventually we're going to have to make really cool cool skill rooms in this series as well. As we go, our sim is likely going to get more creative at making money. So any, any skill rooms you guys are interested in, let me know. For the front foyer, I'm just going to put some closet space in here. So I'm going to use these hanging shelves from Dream Home Decorator where you can hang your clothes. And we can put these in there like that. We can clutter this area up. And before we continue cluttering up this area, I do want to make sure that I have my bathroom stuff over here. So let's make sure we get our bathtub. I actually don't even think we got a bathtub in the last one. This is gonna be our Sims first bathtub. There are a lot of windows here, so we're gonna use some curtains. These ones can cover that window there. And then my bathtub, I think, is gonna go over in this corner. We'll do a toilet beside the bathtub. Let's upgrade to this one here. And for our sink, let's grab this one here from Dream Home Decorator. So with all of the kitchen clutter, this is what our kitchen turned out like. I added some postcards. I thought maybe our sink would be traveling around. Way more clutter than last time. Hanging plants galore. We have our pantry over to this side with our dining area over there, our living room with our bookshelf and our painting area. And I finished off our bathroom over here. I upgraded
decorated the bathtub a little bit more. We've got some plants in here as well. And I think this is looking pretty cute. We've got 15,000 simoleons left. I think that's perfect for our bedroom upstairs. Let's go do that. And then we could always come back down and add more if we need to. I think for my hallway, I'm going to add gardening supplies because in the other build upstairs, we had a little bit of that going on for like the balcony. Wait, I just realized this is going to be our Sims first bedroom too. We haven't had a proper bedroom this entire time. It's been all open concept, our poor Sim. And the wallpaper actually matches her new skirt that I gave her. This is meant to be it. So we're going to add a bunch of plants to this area here. I thought it would actually look really cute to add the barrels from my wedding stories. This, honestly, if I'm being honest, this is like the one and only item that I've been consistently using from this entire pack. But I think it would be cute if we put that there and then put a shelf with the gardening supplies on it, like this one here from Cottage Living. And then we can clutter up this little area just with like some more plants or supplies. So basically our hallway is just like plant heaven. We've got the plants all along that one wall, our supplies, our super cute shelving area over here. And now all we have to do is the bedroom. We're going to get our bed there. I've already spent $1,300 on that. Not too bad. A little bit of an increase from the last one. I really liked the pantry area that we did downstairs. So I think I'm going to make that into like a closet idea, like going in again with these eco lifestyle lines and just making a little divider here. The reason why I'm deleting the walls there, by the way, is just so that it doesn't clip to any of them because it's a wall decor piece. Because if I don't, it's going to stick to the wall and it gets really annoying to place things. So that is the reasoning behind that. Back here, I think I'm going to do some mirrors, maybe with just a hanging wall piece. Like I know in base game, there's a hanging hat. We can put that in here and then I'll, I'll pull it all together with a proper dresser outside of that. But that just looks like a try on area. We can put like a stool in there or something. Thing. I don't know. I think it looks cute. I'm going to splurge a little bit since this is our first bedroom. She's deserved it. Let's do a couch in here. We'll bring in our shelving there too. And you know what? I think I might add a desk. We haven't had a computer yet in any of our builds. So let's just add a small desk here. That one's from Parenthood. Let's give her a computer. Depending on how much we have left over here, it will kind of determine how expensive we go. Like I think we could get away with that laptop. I need a dresser still. We'll use this one here from Tiny Living. We're going to clutter up in here a little bit. I'm going to add some paintings. We are a painter after all. We'll use these end tables from Tiny Living on the side and we're really coming down to it. It's time to clutter and finish up this build. I'm using our last little pieces of cash on our clutter for our shelves over here and $100 left. I'm going to spend it on some curtains there for our windows. We'll do one more plant on my shelf just because it needs something and that's going to do it. $6 left over. This is what our bedroom turned out like. I absolutely absolutely love how it matches her small makeover that I gave her. This is once again how the downstairs turned out with our easel, our garden in the back. And there we go. This feels like the end of an era a little bit for our Sim. She's definitely out of the uh, rags to riches phase. We're approaching 100k for our next house. Let me know what you guys want to happen here. I think it would be fun if we did this together, kind of like wrote this Sim's life together. So I definitely want her to find another Sim. We're going to have them move in. There's skills and their job are up in the air. So whatever they do, we're going to incorporate some new skill rooms into that build. Obviously, maybe some new bedrooms, some kids in the future. So let me know what you want to see happen. This is the 50,000 simoleon house for this side of the neighborhood. I am going to start to put these on the gallery. I was going to wait and upload the entire save file, which we'll probably still do, but these will be on the gallery under Sydney Macarena if you want to find them. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.